Hi, M from Unimade here, and today I get to show you two brand new diamond painting kits that are coming to the Munimade lineup. I'm so excited. These are from two brand new Munimade artists, and I can't wait to show off their work with you guys. I also wanted to take the chance in this video to just kind of talk a little bit about what goes into the process of creating and packaging our diamond painting kits. Um, just because I feel like there's some things that I just like haven't shared with you guys and people just have no idea. So yes, two brand new artworks are coming to the Munimade shop very soon. The date that these will be available will be on the screen. Uh, we're going to have a scheduled drop time. I know that I have been doing like a little bit of sporadic drops that I just post as they're up on social media. But with new diamond painting kits, I've decided that I think I kind of like the process of making a video to preview them and talk about them and then scheduling a specific time about a day later so that you guys, if you are interested, can kind of be prepared. This first run of each of these kits is going to be a little bit smaller in quantity. There's a couple reasons for that. <laughs> Number one, I like to make sure that the rendering is good and there's not anything that I would like to change before I go and reorder. Um, number two, things like size, typos, things like that. I just kind of like to make sure that all my ducks are in a row before I order a large quantity of those. And <laughs> number three, I don't always know what's going to sell. I really don't. And so ordering a reasonable amount ensures that I can gauge community interest and get a good grasp on how a certain piece is going to do. Um, yes, so that being said, that kind of takes me into my next thing is, uh, you know, kind of what goes into Immunimade diamond painting and what goes into our pricing. There's a lot of things to consider. And like I just said, I, my business model is ordering the inventory upfront. So all of the diamond paintings come to me at my house and we package and process them before they're shipped to you guys. I package everything and process everything and have it ready to go before I list it for sale. Once it is listed for sale, those things are ready. They're ready to ship out to you guys in our next scheduled packing session. Um, and then if you order a premium toolkit, of course, those are made to order and that prolongs your ship time. But I purchase the inventory and order it up front before I sell it which means that I have to have the money up front to be able to order lots and lots of kits and have them on hand. And I need to have the space to house these kits. So because we're not operating out of a large warehouse and you know, we're kind of, we're a home family business. Now we're working out of two homes. We're working out of my home and my grandma's home. Because of that, there is limitations. I can't just have 600 diamond paintings laying around. I need to make sure that my inventory is active and it's moving, yada, yada. So <laughs> if you have never really thought about it or never been in this, this world before, when you manufacture something with the factory, there is something called an MOQ. It is a minimum order quantity. And there's different levels. There's different brackets of prices that come along with this. So the more you order of a single item, the cheaper per unit it is going to end up being. They give you a discount if you order more. Makes total sense. So if you order 500 diamond painting kits, you're going to get them cheaper per unit than if you order 10. So as a small family business, as you can imagine, I can't go out to every artwork I release and be like, yeah, I'd like to order 500 of these, you know, just ship them to my little house here in Texas and I will store them in my garage. My goal is to keep the image in stock, but not have a bunch of excess inventory, if that makes sense. So if it sells like a couple a week, then I only want to keep like five to 10 excess kits on hand. And if it's something that is selling like hotcakes, <laughs> then I will order larger quantities, try to get that unit price down and just try to 
keep that in stock. It's very difficult with some paintings. They're just very popular and it's hard to, to keep them in stock with the shipping time, the lead time from China and all of that. Anyways, so that's one factor that goes into it, your quantity of order. If you're gonna compare a small business like mine to someone like, for example, Diamond Art Club, come on, they have a whole warehouse with a bunch of employees. I'm, I don't know, I don't know their numbers, but I'm assuming that when they produce a kit, they probably order a pretty large amount and a truck comes up and unloads it in their warehouse. We're just not there yet. That's not the level that Munamade is operating at. I, we are a family boutique, that's what we are. And that's the experience we like to give to you guys. In addition to that, my diamond paintings are not individually packaged by my manufacturer. They arrive actually on a roll, like all the canvases are rolled up together. I find this is like the safest way to ship them from China and they come completely damage free this way. And it kind of saves, it saves on shipping because it, if you had each of these in an individual box, it just is a larger space that takes up with shipping and so you're charged more. Uh, definitely doesn't really save much on the weight front. You still have to pay an arm and a leg for shipping because of the weight of these items, but it definitely saves on size and shipping. So the canvases come on a roll. Then I typically get another box that has the drills packaged up. So many of you may not know this, we hand package each and every diamond painting kit you order from us. <laughs> yeah, which I think is really cool because I can have a direct... Uh, impact on the quality control, on the presentation, and I just feel like we have a little bit more involvement and responsibility because these items, this is like the first time I've had items that are not manufactured by me. Um, my whole business up till now has been things that we've made here at our house. And so when you have something manufactured by someone else, it's a little bit scary to hand over that responsibility of like, quality and how things are gonna look and how things are gonna be packaged. So, I don't know, I, I just like having um, the Munamade touch on that. So we hand package all of the diamond paintings. We get the rollout, we get a canvas, we place the drills inside, we place the sticker sheet, we place the informational sheet, we roll it up, we tie a ribbon, a bow on it, we add the tag so you can identify it from the outside, and then we plastic seal it. Once it is sealed, it is good to go, that is how we package our paintings, we don't do boxes. I wanna do a whole other video discussing the reasons why and a more in-depth process of what we do behind the scenes, but that's just a quick overview. I love putting my personal touch. I like the ribbon and the tag on the outside and I wanted to be, I still wanted to have something a little bit different with the packaging. So now we have the dust cover bags. I love these, they're so beautiful. They're my favorite colors, they're magnificent. And of course, when we mail your diamond paintings to you, we, we package it in our signature Munamade style. A lot of people have compared it to opening up a birthday gift because it's just so much fun with the tissue paper and I always, I try to think out of the box with fun freebies I can gift to you guys and all of that. So that takes time. Me and my mom currently <laughs> package the diamond paintings. We roll them up. We spend a day hanging out and rolling up your diamond paintings and putting our love and, and our um, gratefulness into each one that we package. So obviously that is some time and some effort and some energy on our part that goes into that. After that, something to consider. Uh, I mean, this should, maybe I should have mentioned this first. This is like the most important thing. All of our artwork is legally licensed, which means that we pay artists for every single kit that you purchase from us. Every kit sold has a portion of that sale that goes directly towards supporting the person whose talents and efforts went into creating that artwork so you can feel good knowing that when you purchase from us you're supporting artists and i think that is pretty cool all around the world we have a really cool artist lineup now of people from all over the world and it is it's such a good feeling to be able to support them and help them along their way in their career as an artist and give them this avenue of revenue where they can you know support themselves we love that so that also goes into producing the diamond painting kits. Most of our kits are hand charted, which means that somebody after putting it through the computer goes in and they by hand like clean everything up and make sure it translates well to a diamond painting. That takes time and I have to hire someone to do that for us. 
<laughs> Most of our paintings come that way. Some are like a little bit retouched and some take a lot of work, but I do have to hire somebody to do that. So again, that's time and effort. There's lots of people I've mentioned so far that are involved in making these diamond painting kits. Also, let's not forget the manufacturers and all the work that goes into the actual physical item being created in China and then imported all the way here. Can't forget that, almost did, but there are a whole bunch of workers in China that make these products for you guys before they even get here. So there's a lot of people along the way who are involved in the process. And then of course, packaging. Packaging the kits, that takes a lot of time too because me and my family, we do it, we package everything. I don't, I don't hire people out. I, I have a direct involvement in packing every single order that we get with Munimade. I just, I wanna share this for the sake of transparency and um, giving people a level of understanding of what Munimade is. We are a family boutique. That is what I kind of have decided to call us because that's what we are. We're not operating as a large scale business like Diamond Art Club, like Amazon, you know, I, we're just not, we're just not operating at that level, nor do I think we really want to, because one of the things that I'm really proud of and that I enjoy is giving you guys a personalized and unique experience when you purchase from us. Each and every order is like super important to us. So when you're thinking about our products, the pricing of our products, I want you to also remember what has gone into it and how many people are involved in this item. And um, hopefully that makes you feel good about purchasing from us and knowing where your money is going and who you are supporting. And we really appreciate it. So all of that being said, I want to show you guys our brand new art that's coming. And um, hopefully you guys like it and are excited for the release. I have missed some videos on some past art that we released and I really wanna go back and kind of cover those because I feel like they deserve their time to shine. Obviously it won't be a preview because those kits are already available. As of now, as of filming this, all of my diamond painting kits are in stock. Um, so you can go purchase them at munamade.com. And from here on out, every time I release a new art, this, I think is gonna be part of the process, obviously without the explanation at the beginning, but just showing you guys the artwork that's coming. Our first artist we are going to take a look at here today is Tara Nord. She is a watercolor artist and um, she is known for her short form content. I found her through Instagram Reels and she shows a lot of the behind the scenes of what it's like to be an artist. She makes these beautiful watercolor pieces and she even sells the original art, which I think is so cool. And I just, her art really just blew me away. I love it. And I would love to create more diamond paintings um, with her artwork in the future. She is an exclusive Munimade artist. So hopefully you guys like her and are excited for what's to come. And the artwork that I'm gonna be showing you guys today is so breathtaking and I hope you guys enjoy it. The second artist I am going to be featuring here today is Michelle Zia. Michelle is already licensed with some other diamond painting companies, um, but on a per image basis. So the image that we are going to be taking a look at here today is exclusive with Mute and Mate. So this is the only place you'll be able to find this particular diamond painting kit. And I just love Michelle's style. She makes a lot of like women with florals and it's gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm really excited to show you guys these two kits. Again, these will be launched at this time and the first run is going to be smaller and the Terra Nords kit is going to be a limited first run. I'll explain that later in the video because we're gonna be making some changes with that one. And um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to cover with you guys. Uh, and let's get into looking at these beautiful kits because I know that's what you're here for. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so the first image is titled A Mother's Love. This one is by Tara Nord, the watercolor artist. And um, it is of a mother holding her baby, which is obviously very relevant to me on a personal level at the moment as I am 
um, in my third trimester expecting my first child. So when I saw this artwork, I immediately felt a connection to it. And when thinking about you guys and thinking about my customers, I know that there are a lot of mothers out there who shop with Muna Maid and um, just have a sort of connection to this type of art. Plus it's just beautiful. I love purple <laughs> and it's absolutely stunning. So um, we did do a poll. I, whenever I sign a new artist to exclusivity, meaning we have the diamond painting rights to their whole collection of artwork. I love to do polls with you guys to see kind of how things rank and how much you guys are going to enjoy a particular image. And this one scored very, very high. So um, I chose this one. I think it's beautiful and I think a lot of you guys are going to connect with it. Okay, so I don't know why like I decided to do this one so large. I typically get render previews back from them. So when I don't know what, if I don't have like a specific size already in mind to do a diamond painting in, I kind of am like, okay, show me some sizes and we'll pick one that does this art justice. And I, for whatever reason, I chose 70 by 70 centimeters, which comes out to a little under um, 28 by 28 inches. That is very large. It is a square. I cropped it. So the actual artwork itself, I think has more blank space above her head, but I decided to crop it. I just, I don't know. I guess I just didn't picture in my head how big a 70 by 70 would be. <laughs> so this is very special because in the first run of a mother's love that will be posted, um, this is going to be the only run of it in this size. So if you like this large size and you want this piece as like a feature piece in your home and it speaks to you like it speaks to me and you love it, you're gonna wanna get this in the first run because the next run is going to be 60 by 60 centimeters. So this is going to be the largest one that will be offered. I would have kept it large, except if you're familiar with our diamond painting dust cover bags, it doesn't fit in my largest bag. So this one will not have the option with the first run to come with the Munamade dust cover bag with it, <laughs> unfortunately, because I don't have one large enough. If you like really wanted one, you can buy them separately a la carte and it does still like stick out. That is a perfect example of why I order a limited amount in the first runs, just in case anything needs to be corrected with either the rendering, the sizing, the if there's any typos on anything, anything like that. I like to make sure before I'm like, yes, let's get a ton of these, um, that it's, it's all good. Um, we like to check it, we like to be thorough. So yeah, that is this artwork. It is gorgeous. So we do hand render most of our art, but this one was actually, um, computer rendered with some minor touching up. And the reason for this is because the original is a watercolor and the, the, um, sort of characteristics of watercolor art is that it, 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 it's going to look very blended and it's going to be kind of like a softer coloring. If that makes sense, I will put the original artwork here and it, it, we wanted, when we translate any artwork into diamond painting, we want to keep its, its core qualities and make sure that we're doing the original artwork justice. So it is computer rendered, but it has been kind of cleaned up. I mostly, I think like around here in her arm and the, the, the glow of like the moonlight behind her and things like that, that's where it's been cleaned up. This one might be on the confetti or heavier side just because we wanted the final product to be the most like the original artwork image, but it's beautiful. It features a woman. She's holding a baby in her arms um, close to her breasts. She's kind of got this like purple dress wrapped around her and a purple swaddle on the baby. And she's sitting in front of, I believe, moonlight. <laughs> and there's a lot of just beautiful purple fading and coloring and some beautiful flowers and plants next to her. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning piece. I can't wait to someday complete this and hang it in my home to represent my first 
child and my experience and how much I had to struggle and have an uphill battle just to get that first child through pregnancy. Um, this painting features 37 colors. Two of those colors are going to be AB. I will pull those out. Here are the drills. This is my own personal um, copy, if you will, of this diamond painting kit. We always get one kit to keep in the Munamade like office to kind of like have a like a kind of like a um, um, like a display kit, if you will, so that I can pull it out and look at it and not be messing with anybody else's um, kit. So. Here are all the, all the drills. They are square. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but they feature a gorgeous variety of both like this, really, this is color number 154. It's kind of like a, like a deep purple. There's black. <laughs> There's a lot of darker colors in this image in the bottom and in the top. And there is also just a lot of shades of pink and purple. So friends, if you like pinks and purples and those kind of romantic tones, this kit might be the one for you. They are all already in baggies and each one is going to have the numerical number. It's supposed to have had some kits come through where they didn't have the numerical number on there. I digress, I'm always trying to correct issues when I find them. So it's supposed to have the numerical number and then the DMC number underneath it. That is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and that is how it is in this kit. So yay, that's a win. They're already bagged up in baggies. So if you'd like to work out of baggies, you could get going right away. If not, you can transfer these into whatever storage system of your choosing. So lots of just pinks, reds, oranges, purples. Definitely really nice color story going on here. And like I said, there's two ABs and those are AB963. So it's going to be a slash symbol on the canvas and it is this beautiful kind of pinky color. And then we have AB5200, which is white. I don't know what is on my hand right there. I like rubbed on some Sharpie or something, but whatever. Also, we won't comment about the state of my nails. Yeah, so those are the two ABs. And as far as where those are charted, so this one's gonna be a check mark symbol and this one's gonna be a slash symbol. Um, before we look at where the ABs are charted, you will receive a sticker sheet with every toolkit. Yes, it's a full page. <laughs> I asked them if they could do half pages, but their template just doesn't easily um, do that. And I don't wanna pay a whole lot of extra money I mean, I feel like the sticker sheet is just great. Uh, yeah, okay, it could be smaller for some smaller kids, but I think it's good. You have all your information on here, place to put start date, end date. You can cut out this picture to put in your logbooks. It's a nice, large, beautiful picture of the diamond painting. Um, it has the title, the artist, and then what's unique to us that I think is super duper duper awesome. I don't think these are cut correctly. That's another thing I'm trying to correct. <clears throat> this column is gonna be cut out and then you have an extra single sing, uh, symbol sticker cut out. So what I think is super cool and my intention with this is so if you're just gonna work out of the baggies, you can just quickly take your extra symbol sticker, slap it on the baggie like that, and then do, boom, you're kid up and you've got a symbol on your baggies like that. So this one's a slash. And then this one is going to be a check mark. Look how easy that is to kit up, you guys. Like seriously, amazing. So that is my thinking with that. And I, to my knowledge, haven't seen other companies doing that. They might go to that. Cause you know, people, if they like it, then they might say, hey, I'm gonna do that too. I don't know. <laughs> but I think that we, I don't know, to my knowledge, we're the first people who started doing that. And I really, really, really like that because it just makes it so much easier. Especially if your kits come in baggies. So those symbols are extra, they're cut out, but I understand if you work out of a different, what, what is the word for it? A different storage system, then you might want all the information, the numerical number, the symbol, and the DMC. I have had some errors come through where they didn't cut correctly, like this one, only the symbol and the DMC are cut. 
that's not supposed to be the case. I've already contacted them about this and it should be corrected on future orders. But unfortunately we have to like get through the inventory we have before it gets corrected. So the whole box is supposed to be cut out. That's the, that's the goal on this specific one. The symbol in the DMC is cut out, but, um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's that. So sticker sheet, great pre-cut for you. Great kits come in baggies and the intention, if you're wondering like, why is there an extra symbol sticker for this to make things like really easy and quick for you guys. Okay. So let's take a look where the slashes and the check marks are. Um, first and foremost, I know by looking at this image and, um, by the analyzing I did before in the rendering phase, the check marks are going to be these like stars that are sprinkled throughout the image. So just to kind of make it twinkle, it's going to be a more subtle kind of effect. Um, it's literally just like a sprinkling and yeah, in my mind, I think it'll look really good. I, I trust the designers and their, their opinions and, and where they're going with things. So hopefully this looks really good. Like I said, if there is ever any kind of rendering feedback you have, let me know. I'll communicate it to our designers. But yeah, it's sprinkled in all these white parts. So it's kind of like a, like you take these ABs and you kind of like sprinkle it to bring out some twinkle. There's even some around her head and stuff. So it just kind of brings out some, some twinkle. The second one, the slash, that is the same thing the designer has decided to sprinkle these throughout and these are in this pink area here that is right above her head. So it kind of like draws your attention to the center of the image and um, just, and it's even, it goes down into here, here. <clears throat> it just kind of, yeah, is, is throughout. Yeah, so that's the AB strategy with this particular painting is we just kind of have the ABs sprinkled throughout to bring out some twinkle and some shine. This kit, I'm not gonna lie, is gonna be very confetti heavy because of the watercolor nature of the original artwork. It is very, very, very confetti heavy. So if that's not your thing, it's also very large. So if you're like, ew, confetti, I could never, um, maybe not the one for you. <laughs> um, but I think that the, end result is going to look really incredible. As always, if you work on Muta Made kits and you uh, share them, I think the best place to do that is in the Muta Made Facebook group, which I always have linked in the description. <clears throat> I love seeing those and I'm going to start posting more of your pictures on the website and, and on the, on the listings on the website. So yeah, if you work on this, if you buy this, you work on this, I want to see it. Okay. So that's that painting. If you get a premium toolkit with this painting, I've decided to pair it with a white tray. I realize you're like, what? There's so many colors. Cause we do, we pick out of our solid colors to choose what the premium toolkit will be. But I wanted to do a blush pink or a secure pink or something with this. But something I take in consideration when I choose the trays to go with kits is the color of the drills. And if there are too many drills that look exactly like the tray color, that's gonna be hard for you guys to see. See, I think about these things. <laughs> so I went back and forth between like black, blush pink, secure pink, colors like that. And I ultimately ended up with the white because I just think that these colors are so beautiful and they're just gonna look so good and stand out in the white tray. So if you get a premium toolkit, this is paired with a large white tray. That is what you will receive. No substitutions. It will not come with a dust cover bag the first run, but the second run when I restock these will. And yeah, sorry about that. So if you want this in the really large size, then, um, get this first run. If not, it's going to be shrunken down a little bit, but it's going to mostly look the same. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Here is the next one. This is a piece by Michelle Zia and it is titled Roselle. Beautiful. I let the artist name their pieces. If they don't really have a name for them, sometimes like we come up with one together. 
Um, but yeah, this is Roselle by Michelle Zia. It is 50 centimeters by 67 centimeters, uh, just a touch under 20 by 20. It's around 20 by 26 inches to give you an idea of size. This one's kind of like a, like a mid, mid size painting. It is round and has 38 colors including two AB colors in that lineup. Uh, I absolutely love how this one came out when it comes to the rendering. I think it looks really good. Um, hopefully it looks just as good once the drills are placed. This one, we did have to go back and forth quite a few times in the design process. This one was hand charted and um, yeah, there was a couple, there was a little bit of back and forth trying to get this one look the way I wanted it to. So please let me know if you find any spots that are questionable. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it turned out gorgeous. It features a beautiful young girl who's kind of leaning over a bouquet of flowers. The flowers are glowing, they're magical flowers. And it is kind of casting that beautiful glow up on her face. Beautiful work of art. And the thing is about Michelle's art, and I guess her trademark and like what makes her art unique is a lot of it has florals. I love florals. It features like girls, like beautiful girls and florals. Love that, literally love that. And if she didn't <laughs> have so many licensed paintings with other companies, I would be like, okay, I wanna license them all. Um, <laughs> but I will, I will try to get more in the future from her because I love this. And I think you guys love it too. I think this is going to be a good, a good addition to the lineup. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, on our canvases, we include right under where our website is, where you can buy this, support the artist. This is like important to me. If I'm gonna be selling a product from an artist, um, I want you to like know, yes, this is a Munimade product and we, produced this, we designed it, we packaged it, we fulfill it, we do all those things. But the art that gives you those feelings and that you connect with and that you love so much, this is who this is done by and you need to go support that person if you like them. <laughs> you know, if you if you feel any sort of connection or any type of way about their artwork, um, let them know. There's so many artists out there who don't understand or know how loved their artwork is and how much it makes people feel. And so it's really important that we encourage them and reaffirm them. You would be surprised how much your words and support means to them. So go support. All of our canvases have where their main like place is where you can go follow them and support their works of art. So yeah, this is Roselle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, if I didn't make it clear already, our canvases are a soft lint, thick, high quality canvas. They will probably lay flat almost immediately after you get them. And it's poured glue. Uh, does anyone do double-sided adhesive anymore? I think we've kind of moved away from that in the diamond painting community. Here is the color story of the drills. So again, lots of pinks and purples. I guess that's just how I was feeling when I was picking out this round of art. <laughs> I was just in a pink and purpley mood, like a sunset, sunsetty kind of mood. So, <laughs> yeah. So here's these beautiful, beautiful. These are in round. I know when people are like, "Oh my God, I love this art," but I wish you did it in square, or I wish you did this art in round. Since our business model is to have the inventory here, it's just impossible to have two versions of every single artwork and have two versions charted and you know what I mean? So decisions have to be made and I chose to do this one in round. Yeah, so really beautiful, beautiful colors there. This one, I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait to see any of my kits worked on. Really, make sure you share them. If you ever work on a Munimade kit, please share pictures so I can see how it looks when it comes to life. I obviously don't have the time to work every single Munimade kit and see how it looks. I just don't, I wish I did. I really wish I did. Okay, you get a sticker sheet with this one. Same thing, the symbols are gonna be cut out but they're gonna be cut in a round shape this time and you're supposed to have the whole rectangle cut out with the numerical number, the symbol and the DMC. If you receive one that's incorrect, I'm sorry, it's gonna be fixed or it, it's like already 
in the process of being fixed. We got two ABs. The first one is this red one, has an R symbol. I totally, it's probably best to get these tiny little stickers with tweezers, but I'm impatient and I don't have tweezers right here. So <laughs> this one's AB741, it's orange. And then here is RAB666. And this one's red and that one's orange. Let's see where they go. Let's see, let's see. Okay, the R symbol, I'm just seeing it in the flowers. I wish there was more. I might go back and make an edit on this one. That's the thing with first runs, you get it and then you're like, okay, 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 what can we do here? I'm, I'm a perfectionist, I wanna make this better. So I am seeing R's basically sprinkled in these florals at the bottom where the reds are just to um, bring those out and make it pop in the center of this flower throughout here. So that's where I'm seeing the reds. The oranges, which is a T symbol, those are gonna be in the centers of these flowers that are glowing and just kind of casting a glow up onto her face. They're also in the center of these flowers over here. So yeah, just a little, little Zhuzh, a little pizzazz. ABs are just special sparkly um, drills and when they're placed, when you finish the image and you're kind of looking at it in the light, ABs just kind of bring a twinkle, like an extra pop to paintings and they're typically used to highlight certain areas in artwork and just show off different parts and draw your eye to different parts. So that is where the ABs go in there. They're basically in the flowers, which I think is a cool placement. I just, that's the thing. Like I'm not manufacturing these. I'm going back and forth with the manufacturer and, and it's a learning process and we have to learn each other. The manufacturer and the designer both are, you know, continuously learning my taste, what I want. I'm learning how to best communicate with them. English is um, not their first language and I don't know Chinese. It would be really nice if I did, but I don't. Um, so. It's like, it's a process, it's a back and forth, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a learning thing. <laughs> and I don't know, I think I've done a good job so far, and I love the, where we've gotten, and I know that there's places to improve in the details, the devil's in the details, and we will continuously always be improving. So that is what you get with this kit. Yes, indeed. Okay, if you order a premium toolkit, you are going to receive a blush color tray with this one. A lot of the colors are dark and deep enough where I feel confident they will show up in the tray. You'll be able to see them and it is going to be in the size large. I determine the size of the tray based off of the size of the painting. That's just the system I've got. And if you order a dust cover bag with it, you're going to get a beautiful green one. Beautiful green. So if you wanna go all out with your diamond painting experience, you can order a premium toolkit, including a Muna made tray and all your other accessories, dust cover bag, and you can have the most luxurious Muna made experience completing this diamond painting. So yeah, cool. I think that's about it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, the launch date of when these are going to be available for the first time after they sell out. I'm pretty confident that they will after they sell out and I've determined what kind of adjustments need to be made for future batches, which we already know we're gonna make the A Mother's Love smaller. <laughs> and once I've determined what adjustments are going to be made, then um, these will be restocked and continuously restocked as long as there's demand for them, then I will restock them. That is the deal with all of my images. So I try to keep them all in stock. Those deities, man, those are really hard to keep on the shelves, but I've done it. I've done it so far. Um, and hopefully I can continue to keep them on the shelf the majority of the time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, thank you to each and every person who has ever purchased a diamond painting kit from Muna Made. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, as long as they're kind and constructive. And I hope that you guys um, enjoy these types of videos. Cool, so have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 
A massive heartfelt thank you goes out to Robin Egg, Diamonds and Washi, Sherry Lynn, Berta, Shani, Nestin, Jin, and Jody Sketchly. Thank you guys for being members of this channel and special unicorns. I appreciate you endlessly.